Hello. So I've put an economy in the game. Now it's a little bit more like a game. You can see I start with $200, but this concrete slab doesn't cost anything. That's because nothing costs money. On the left you can see how the concrete slab actually costs manpower and materials. Since I have those in stock, I don't have to buy them off of the market. This is important because there are some places where there is no market. Like if you were to go into deep space, you have to bring everything you need. But I'm in the southwest in the 30s or 40s, so I can certainly afford to hire a couple of people to put in some wooden flooring. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, because I ran out of materials in stock. Now these walls are free, because they're included with the price of the floor. So you can go ahead and decorate your walls however you would like. Now what can we do with uh, these? Well, here's a launch pad. It costs 300 bucks. I can't afford it. Hmm. I can afford some biolabs, though. They're only a buck and a half each. Okay. Let's put in some biolabs. These produce tiny bio-observations. The observations are extremely tiny, but they might be valuable to us. It doesn't require any sort of support, so I can just mail them out and see what I get. Oh, this. So we'll just mail out those observations directly and see whether or not anyone anyone cares to give us any cash for that, you know, the government bounty on, on science. Two bucks. They're willing to pay us two dollars for a page of biology notes from that kind of crappy setup. So let's um let's go ahead and make that more. I mean we're already making a profit, but that's a half a dollar per experiment, that's that's not very much of a profit, and if there was actually the cost of person, if we actually factor in the cost of people working there, which don't exist yet, but will, that would be way more expensive, so we wouldn't, we wouldn't be making any profit off of that. What we really need is someone to write all of those observations up into a scientific paper, because science papers are all the rage, and they are what the, uh, the science organizations around the world actually want. So to, to write a science paper, it takes eight observations. And we wrote the paper. They're mailing it out now. Sixty bucks. Not too bad. But I think we can do better. So let's go ahead and slow this way down. It doesn't need to be anywhere near that fast. Let's put in a cubicle. There you go. So the cubicle will collate the papers, which means the scientist will have an easier time writing them. So let's go ahead and set it up like this. And now, we'll fast forward. The collation happens when you have eight in a row, like so, and you pass them on over to the scientist. The scientist already had some observations, so the collation didn't actually do as much as it should. So that was only a hundred bucks. Let's see how much we can get with a fully collated set of science information. 130 bucks, now we're talking. So now if we wanted to, we could actually afford to build ourselves a rocket lab, because the rocket lab's price is... Oh, here, just to show you, there's, a, there's no electronics. We haven't invented them yet, so I cannot buy this computer. I have to invent electronics and then either manufacture some of them or create a market for electronics by um, by going into the greater world around me and and uh, you know uh, investing in electronics, but I can afford the fuel base. I can't afford the fuel base. I can't afford the launch pad that I need. But the fuel base is um, is absurdly expensive because metal is not cheap. So I can't actually afford to build my rocket pad because there's so much metal that I need. I would need to buy four four thousand nine hundred kilograms of metal to put in this this fuel tank system and uh, um, that's just way too much so I would have to find some other approach and I could either start manufacturing metal by using workshops um, and they wouldn't obviously you're not actually manufacturing metal you're shaping it into the correct shapes um, or I could go do something else uh, like maybe uh, aerospace research or something that wouldn't require an actual launch pad and then I could go out into the greater world, and this facility would continue running in the background using a very, very efficient um, method of just recording a month's worth of activities and then replaying that over and over and over instead of actually simulating all of this out. Anyhow, that's how the game plans to work in the long run, and uh, that's it.